Here we have Tunerfish Lug Locks. They're designed to keep a drum's tension rods in place to avoid detuning. This pack has 16 pieces, so I'll be able to use them on the top and bottom of my 8 lug snare. And here are the Tunerfish Secure Bands. They keep Tunerfish from flying off your drum. This pack has over 20 bands, so I'll have extra if I misplace a few. You can see here, Tunerfish are shaped to hug the rim with the tail portion, keeping the tension rod from loosening without digging or scratching the hoop. The eight-sided star cutouts in the fish allow for eighth turn increments to be locked in. Let's see them used with the bands. Here I have a snare with die cast hoops, and the fish fit just fine. You can just pop them on your tension rods and push the tail until it's snug against the rim. The fish feel super sturdy and fit over the tension rods just right. But we're going to use ours with the secure bands. You just push them through behind the tension rods, pull them back out, and thread the fish between the loops. The fish have cutouts for the bands to sit. Then you just pull the fish up and over the tension rod and lock them down. Cool. Now the packaging suggests throwing a new head on before using the fish, so we're going to do that now. I'm going to seat this head by tuning it way up in small increments and letting it sit overnight. Then tomorrow, I'll bring it down to a tension I'm happy with and throw the lugs on. Some folks do this to keep a new head from stretching out and detuning in the middle of a session. So now that I have it tuned where I like it, I've put tuner fish on the top and bottom of my snare. I'm going to play through a song that hangs out on the snare and check the tuning before and after. As I played, I didn't notice any rattling or jiggling of the fish, and nothing fell off the top or bottom of the drum. The fish sit below the top of the rim, so I didn't have any issues with rim shots. From here, I removed the fish, which took about a minute, and played the same song, checking for tuning before and after. The starting tension of the heads remained the same between takes. After this, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with and without Tunerfish. Remember, I only played one three-minute song, and any differences heard will be amplified in a full live set or studio session.
After recording, I threw tuner fish back on my snare, and that's where they'll stay. They allow for consistent snare tone in recording situations and band jams, and can be used on snares or toms. Pretty cool.